It never fails that when I'm doing one of these training videos that my secretary will call me or my phone will ring or I'll get an email and forget to turn off my sound and then you have the annoying ding and then I have to do it all over again. Anyway, usually when I get like to give a presentation, I like to have an introductory slide that loops through while I'm, you know, talking with people as they come in or whatnot. It just looks nice and professional, gives a nice touch to the presentation. That's basically what you're going to learn in this training tutorial. You'll learn how to create an introductory slide that continually will loop until you stop it to to start your actual presentation. For this tutorial, you'll need to create two separate PowerPoints. I named my first PowerPoint uh, main.ppt and my second one content.ppt. So you're going to create two separate PowerPoint projects. In your first project, you're going to create your introductory material. This project will actually have your animations that will loop. And for mine, I just create a black background with white text that is animated. And I'll give you a preview of that right now. You see that the text animates in, and then this is important, it animates out so that I'm start I start off with a a black box, which is how I began, because if you watch it started off with a black box. And then it ends with that same black box so that way it'll have a, a nice transition when it's looping through okay so you create your animation that has an introduction and also an exit element to the animation if you need more help learning how to animate and this is just confusing at this point you're in an advanced tutorial so you need to go watch one of our training videos on how to animate stuff in PowerPoint. So I'm sorry. Okay, moving on from there, you need to go to Slideshow and then click Set a Show. And then you need to select Loop Continuously until Escape. You want to make sure that that is selected. What that will do is that your PowerPoint will continually go through on loop until you stop it. You click OK. Now what happens if you do just leave it at that point is it's just going to sit on the black screen. So what we want to do is go to slideshow and click rehearse timings. Now you have to be careful here because uh, you want to wait until your animation is completed to click the next. You're going to notice that it's not quite lined up on my screen but that's okay. See my animation comes in and then it comes out and then when all of this is completely out of the screen I click this next button. And what that does is that PowerPoint will advance to the next slide for me or in our case there is no next slide so It'll, it would normally go to the end of the presentation, but since we set it up to loop, it's going to restart itself. And it's asking if we want to keep this time of nine seconds. We click yes. And just like that, you've set up the beginning stages for your introductory slide. Now we could just set this to, to loop, and then when we get up to speak, close this presentation down. Everyone could watch us scroll over to our other PowerPoint, but that kind of kills the whole effect of it. We want to be able to click from this PowerPoint to jump directly into our other PowerPoint seamlessly. What you want to do for this is create a rectangle. And make it the area of the whole entire slide there. Now this doesn't help much because we can't see anything, so you right click click format auto shape you want to take this transparency tab and move it all the way over to hundred percent click OK you see now we can see our information below it you want to select the transparent box again right click 
and select hyperlink. Okay, now you'll see that this pulls up um, where you want to hyperlink to. You want to make sure the existing file or web page is selected. You want it to be the current folder and I'm going to select the content PowerPoint. You can name it whatever you want. Just select that one. Now it's very important that you keep your content and your introductory slide in the same folder at all times or else when you move this, if you move this to another folder or something like that um, or put it on a thumb drive to go, it's not going to know where to find your content presentation. So you want to make sure that you keep both these files in the same folder. Click OK and just like that you're done. It's pretty easy, not too difficult. Um, I hope it's been helpful for you. I think it will give a nice effect the next time you present to have this looping introductory slide. I promise you people will probably ask you how you did it. Um, you can just tell them for a super genius like me, eh, it was easy. I won't tell anyone that I'm the super genius. But anyway, uh, be sure to check out any of our other training videos that are free. And keep in mind that all PowerPoint templates are only $1.99. Thanks.